because some were questioning the motivation of Paulo Costa and what form we'll see from the Brazilian. And Marvin said, I have to expect him to be the best, best he's ever been. He's certainly the biggest he's ever been. So I have to beat him the worst he's ever been beaten. And in Mezzo Corona, Italy, they are ready for the Italian dream. Marvin Vittori as he enters another main event. And he does so against Paulo Costa. Say hello to this week's bad guy. He is the second ranked middleweight, Paulo Costa, of course, making this walk for a light heavyweight matchup. By the numbers, this guy is a fierce competitor, very dangerous, 13 wins as a pro, 11 knockouts. You're rarely, Paul, getting him out of the first round. And he says, tonight, I want another quick night at the office. For all the surrounding noise this week and for all the, the stuff that people will say about him, as a fighter, you gotta respect what he's able to do because he has got skills, power, toughness, quickness, everything you can want. I, I think a lot of this, like we said, is gamemanship for Paulo Costa. I think he's trying to get in the head. I think he's trying to mess with everybody. I think he's trying to be the heel. I think he's embracing all of this. I think at the end of the day, this is all just gonna hype him up even more, really, whether it's good, bad, or ugly, because at the end of the day, what we really care about is what is gonna happen when Paulo Costa steps into the cage and does what he does best, and that's, produce violence man yes and That's when what... he's on form this man is an absolute monster and look at the size of him here he isn't coming in 20 pounds heavy because he's put weight on because he's sat on the couch he's been drinking beers and having too much pasta no the man still looks like he's carved out of stone he's coming in here absolutely gigantic the man is just a force of destruction inside the octagon. The man is a knockout artist. He's a vicious, vicious striker. And he doesn't slow down. Look at that fight against output from both of them. It was absolutely insane. And you can see the look in his eyes. He's coming here tonight to do damage. This is going to be an incredible fight. It's got all the makings, it's got bad blood, intensity, and they are joining up one another right now. I can't wait for this to start. Oh, Hostile man. stare down. Look at this. Oh, okay. How about this? I love it. I love it. I mean, it just builds it up even more. <laughs> It really does, right? Even though it's wrong, we know that what Paulo Costa is doing is not right. You can't do this kind of stuff. But look at the tension in the atmosphere inside of this octagon right now. And of course, it is unfair to Marvin Vittori. We know that. Yeah, but that's how Marvin Vittori likes to play as well. He's an intense man, one of the most intense you'll ever meet. And he's normally the guy getting in the face. So Marvin, he's not going to be intimidated at all. Well, call it whatever you want. I'll call it five rounds, likely less with all the hostility in this main event that goes down at light heavyweight. Paulo Costa, two years older than the Italian dream, Marvin Vittorio's 28. He's one inch taller, we highlight the weight because this fight was scheduled for 185 pounds. Fight week activities bring it up to 205. Two inches in reach goes to Marvin Vittori. We set the table one final time with Joe Martinez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here we go live from the UFC Apex here in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the main event. Five rounds of action this scheduled in the UFC light heavyweight division. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, the executive director is Bob Bennett, Chairman Stephen J. Klubeck. The three judges scoring at Octagon side, Derek Cleary, Sal D'Amato, and Junichiro Camillo. And when the action begins inside the octagon, your referee in charge, Jason Herzog. Weighing in officially 204 pounds, his record stands at 17 victories, five defeats, and one draw. He is the UFC's number five ranked middleweight contender in the world from Mezzo Corona, Italy. Here is Marvin, the Italian dream, Vittori! And across the octagon, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He's a striker standing six feet, one inch tall, weighing at officially 204 and one half pounds in 14 fights. His record, 13 victories, just one defeat, presenting the UFC's number two ranked middleweight contender in the world from Cotagem, Brazil, Paulo the Racer.
You good? Fighters have gone over the rules in the back. There were no final questions from you, fighter. There were no final questions from you. Step back to your corners, come out ready to fight. Nonetheless, our main event is upon us. And how about this? Fight, Marvin Vittori in the fight, green figures to be right, the undersized fighter based on the events of this week. He has swelled to a minus 195 favorite. Paulo Costa's in the white as the underdog. Heavy leg kick. You see the power from Costa straight away. Now the key for victory, I think, in Vittoria is mixing in the takedowns. We know Costa, he's a banger. He's got a lot of power in every shot, as does Vittoria. But Vittoria has shown he can wrestle, he can take people down. If he does that, he's got five rounds to wear him down. But that is a heavy inside lock kick. Costa alluded to us earlier this week that there were some problems in his training camp. He would not cooperate. He said he would explain after the fight. Marvin Vittori pressing on him after the stumble from Costa. Yeah, good counter there from Vittori on that kick. Knocked him down. I'd have to see the replay to see if that was a bit of a collision or if he really dropped yeah. him. But either way, a, yeah, it was more of a stumble, but certainly it allows Vittori to now be on the front foot here. Yeah and do what he does best, body kick for Costa. Nasty Those body kick. right kicks are so powerful. Oh. Here the clinch up for the first time. Now let's see if, uh, if there's a noticeable size difference between these two guys in this position. I mean, there is. Costa looks absolutely gigantic. Yeah, you're right, there is. It's pretty noticeable. I mean, it's not like Marvin's a small guy, let's be honest. They're both tanks. And, and I think we agree, Michael, that the further this fight goes, the more it starts to favor Vittori. Yeah, I think so. Certainly with the intensity. And we don't know the full story of the, the weight situation. You know, did he, did he rest on his laurels? Did he not do the road work? These are always questions you have to ask when somebody doesn't miss weight. Or did he come into this and plan on doing this right from day one, Ooh. knowing that Vittori would Ooh. take the fight? Right hand lands for Vittori. Oh, Costa returns one man. It's a nasty right kick from Polo Costa. Oh. Left cross from Vittori, who's now moving back. Costa fires another body kick. Yeah, and if, I don't know if it's just me, but it seems to be that Costa's starting to breathe a little hard, and those right kicks aren't quite as powerful. Nice oh, counter. So nice combination. Fired back. Fast hands. Yeah, every time Costa fires, the toy fires back. And that's straight left and right. Yeah, not backing up, man. He's coming right for Polo Costa, getting in his face, but being calculated too. Not, not over swinging. He's blocking those right kicks. I'm sure they're hurting on the arms, but he's eating them. I'm telling you, Paolo Costa's fading already. Oh, he's fast. Fading. He's, he's along the fence, card high. Vittori stringing together a combination. Yeah, good volume from Vittori here. Costa content to just sit yeah, there. Another think, big right kick. I think Costa might plant himself on the fence and just say, let's fight in a phone booth here. I'll trust my power. Oh, his gas tank is already fading, unfortunately, for him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you look at the body language, some of the shots are more labored. He finds the explosion here and there, but not every shot. Every, sh every shot, some of them are slowing down. As I say, 20 pounds. It's a, it's a lot of extra weight. And what was the reason for that? Vittori busier through the early going. There's the great equalizer of Costa lands an overhand right. Oh. Dips and throws to the body. Something Costa does well is mix it up at the top two levels. Stiff jab from Vittori. You know, we, we talk about Costa's gas tank maybe showing a little signs of fatigue right now, but we've seen him against Joel Romero. We've seen him have to grind and go and throw big volume, but moving up a weight class, and I can tell you, speaking from experience, when I moved up on short notice to 170 pounds, your body just feels different. It yeah. responds different. You're so used to cutting down to that. Oh, weight class. You're, so you're carrying more weight. Yeah. Therefore, it's a tougher load on the body. Simple as that. Good movement from Vittori. 
You know, when I dropped down from 205, because I started my career there, when I came down to 185, my output was way higher. Obviously, I'm carrying less weight, you know, so maybe it's a, a, a plan that's going to come back and bite him in the ass. We don't know. He was not. It was for the title. It was last year in Abu Dhabi. Head, body, leg strikes look like this. Look at Vittori's volume. More than 30 strikes landed to the head. Mention the body work of Paulo Costa. Yeah, and not only ahead of the numbers, he seems oh. to have Costa hurt on a couple of occasions. Didn't last for long, but it certainly got his attention. Good hand speed here from Vittori. I mean, that right kick is still pretty pretty thunderous right now, and I think that's a strategy here, obviously, to attack that left arm of Vittori, but Vittori eating it, walking forward, landing some good combinations. Oh, oh, that was nice a right, right there. cross from Costa. But he kind of rolled with it, you know yep. what I mean? He took yep. a little bit off of that with his nice movement. Job. Well, Vittori's been in some grueling fights, and he has never been finished in his pro career. I was just I mean, going to say, too, it. I'd like to see Marvin go to the body, and just as I was thinking that, put... Whoa! Big oh, right kick from Costa! And then he goes to the body. Vittori is somehow still with it. Vittori has got some chin. It's unbelievable. Oh, my goodness. Costa still mixing it up here. Oh, Vittori. Right. Good movement, man. Yeah, if Paulo doesn't get this finish, oh, yeah. I worry about where the gas tank's going to be. Man, Marvin Vittori is as tough as it gets, man. Man, he ate that straight to the side of the head. Yeah, he's as tough as they come. He never takes a backward step pretty much either, unless he's forced back. You know, he's not intimidated. He took this fight. He didn't even consider not fighting for a split second. And he's standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with a fearsome striker, a powerful man, a dangerous man like Paolo Costa, eating head kicks and firing right back. And if you're Costa, you got to start thinking, oh, my gosh, what do I got to hit this guy with? And it just landed a clean, flush head kick. Nice inside kick. And you know, obviously coming up to 205, yeah. That's good for uh, Costa because he never had to do the cut. But guess what, Marvin Vittori didn't have to go through a great sure, way right. either. So as we get to round three, four, five, certainly the championship rounds, look for Vittori to have an edge in the cardio. Although, that being said, oh. we keep saying that. And Costa does keep coming forward, landing yeah, the combo. Yeah, I was just going to say, pretty good team. second round here. But as long as he can keep this sort of volume going, he's staying in this fight. Oh. Nice well, as we said, cost. the Yoel Romero fight, that's kind of how it was. It looked like he'd been exhausted one second and then continuing to explode. Oh, big left from nice. Costa. Ooh. You don't want to take too many of them. That's smart. First time they clinch. Nice turn. Nice. Tori with little resistance. Two minutes to go, round two. Trying to get the wrist control. Post is almost up. He is still within the grasp, and now not anymore. Yeah, it's a smart strategy, though. Make him wrestle. Drag him down. Force him to stand back. Oh, oh what happened? Yeah. An eye poke? An eye poke so. as Jason Herzog immediately calls right here, right time. Here. Right here, right here. Please, please stand over here. Please. Right here. Yeah. He's outstretched. Yeah, no question about it. Yeah, it so doesn't like, appear to be a fight ending. Okay. I poke is Vittori you when you're grabbing, so taking his, his time to recover. Not like this. You poked him in the eye right now. You cannot do this again, okay? Yeah, there's no way on earth. Marvin Vittori says, I can't continue. He does not know those words. It's okay. 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 He's got it open. All right. This way. You're grabbing his hands like this. I've already told you multiple times not to put your hands like that, okay? You just poked him in the eye now, okay? I'm gonna take a point Ooh. from you. Do you understand? Okay. Come here. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Because you poked him in the eye. I already told no, you not no, to do no, it. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. No, you can't uh, argue. Well, Paulo Costa's not the one in charge here. Yeah, is it? No, it's no, Jason no, no. Herzog. So He's one on point deducted. On you don't get to call the shots here, buddy. Hey, and with all okay. the circumstances don't coming in. Don't do it again, okay? You're this wake, but You're this good. fight was supposed to be at 185. You, you decided not to have it there. You're not arguing these point taking away. Oh. Marvin's going to be pissed off. Yeah, and that's huge momentum though from Vittori. 
But that was also a good rest for Costa. Massive rest, and that was a nut shot. Well, some, some would hope referees take a point more often in a big fight in a big Ooh. spot. And so Jason Herzog decides to, said he was warning throughout the fight, big head kick for Costa once again. Yeah, Vittori needs to keep that left hand high. Man, Costa has such a fast and powerful right kick. It's, it's a whip. For as big as he is, right, the way he whips that kick, it's a great technique on it as well. Vittori's gonna rip to the body here. Back him up with the jabs, rip to the body, the body's open. Oh, nice. Just oh, elbows the elbows. guard high from Costa. Body work here. Yeah, putting well, it he's together. Do, you're right, Michael. When he starts showing up up top. Yeah, Costa does a really good job of defending, but it's a super high guard. And as I say, exposes all the abdomen. One, two, three up top. Bang! Rip to the liver. Significant strikes in round two in favor of the Italian. I mean, I would be interested in knowing what Costa weighs tonight in that octagon because oh, the biggest guy for the fight. The cost is so much bigger. Three seconds in the round. One more body shot from Costa. We'll keep it here. I got it, I got it. Okay. Look. We just gotta take away those kicks. That high kick is where he caught you, okay? Keep that left hand tight. He goes low kick, then goes high kick, okay? So you yeah. could time this to step in with the cross. Another thing, you make that angle, there's All no right, here's kick. the right hand landed by Costa. And here's the head kick. He throws a faint right hand, boom! I mean, shin and foot to the side of Vittori's head. Now here he goes for the same exact thing, but Vittori steps in as he goes to the body and unfortunately... This than what he did against five rounds against Israel Adesanya. Tremendous output. So we enter the third round. Ooh. Marvin Vittori has already landed more strikes in this fight than he did in all five rounds against Israel Adesanya Ooh. in his last fight, which was for, of course, the middleweight title. Nice. Worth the body. Certainly a better round two for Costa than round one. And he doesn't, he's still very much in this fight. Second time in his UFC career, he's entered a third round for Costa. The only other when he went the distance against Yoel Romero a couple of years ago in Anaheim. Marvin pressuring forward well here. I mean, this is a tremendous fight so far. We're only at the start of round three. And this really sends a message to all the, the middleweights out there, other than Israel Adesanya, who's beat them both in their last fights, Ooh. but, I mean, what a war. We've seen one takedown from Marvin Vittori, but he's not really using a wrestling attack. Watch your fingers. Wow. Oh! That's a big movement from Costa in round three. Yeah, surprisingly fast, too. I mean, I missed it, but that was impressive. Oh, sharp left hand there from Vittori. Marvin still landing. continues to walk him down. At this point, with him backed up against the fence, I think about sprinkling in another takedown. That's a really good way to mix things up. Some blood on the nose of Costa. Roy swinging. They clinch up. Vittori back to the fence. Or backs him up to the fence, I should say. Under three minutes to go, round three. And the problem is, too, for this wrestling and this clinch situation, both these guys are so sweaty right yeah. now in round three. That yeah. They're just sliding off of each other, basically. Seen hardly any kicks, though, from Marvin. I'd like to see him mix a few in. Predominantly a boxing and elbow approach with a sprinkle of wrestling here and there. There's a nice body shot. And I think Marvin would be well served to throw in some kicks. Oh. Vittori largely controlling the center of the octagon. 
in this round. Combination. Nice combo. And I like how Marvin's not putting every ounce of energy he has into every shot. Some shots are feel it, you know, feeling out the process. Range finders. Then he'll throw a big power shot, but back off of it. Whereas Costa, just big, powerful shots, whether it be kicks or punches. Everything has just lights out intentions on it. Oh! Knee and a takedown attempt from Costa. Wow. Thinking about a triangle there, but he's got to be careful. Unlikely from Costa, but he'll go grounded pound here with Vittori on his back. Big shots here from Costa. Well, Vittori doesn't want to stay down. Nicely done, though. He's going to watch the neck. Got to be careful. Costa's looking for it. Oh, guillotine. Vittori's out. I mean, so sweaty, right? So sweaty. So, yeah. yeah, you can see these guys are sweating profusely in there right now. And that was a risky maneuver from Costa because now he's on the bottom here. Yeah, and that's just cost him the round as well, I would say. Yeah, and a close Vittori, round, that was a mistake. Vittori controls him here for the rest of the round. They've got him two rounds to one. And a point deduction. And Vittori is no stranger to this position. On the ground, he's more known for his submission game than his knockouts, but he's most known for just making it a grueling fight that'll go into the deep waters with yeah. 30 seconds left until round number four. This is a Marvin Vittori fight here. Yeah, listen, he trains at King's MMA. They've got no shortage of high-level jiu-jitsu. Amongst others, he's been training a lot for many years with Fabrizio Verdun. Very high-level jiu-jitsu and former UFC heavyweight champion. So the guy knows what he's doing down there. Daniel Dariush also in his corner tonight. Excellent jiu-jitsu black belt, former big-time jiu-jitsu competitor. Round four upcoming. I thought I'd been the opposite stance. Oh, man. yeah, you are going to crumble then. Yeah. <laughs> Vittori, relentless pressure here to open round four. Oh. Big left hook from Costa. Jab from Vittori. Oh. Combination. Real nice connection. He can shake it off all he wants. But those landed, they scored, and they hurt. Yeah, Costa's been guys. the bad guy this week, but he is a fun fighter to watch. Oh fight. my God. Good <laughs> jab there from Vittori. You never miss a fight of either of these guys, no. to be honest. And for Marvin Vittori, we've never seen him more motivated. And, uh, and he has looked great throughout these three plus rounds as well. Yeah, and you know, he talked about wanting to, to, to have this be a stand up battle and, and teach him a lesson. He hasn't backed up from that. There's been some wrestling exchanges, but Marvin has been more than happy to stand and trade. Blood coming from the right eye of Vittori doesn't appear to be bothering him. Costa's covering up along the fence. Good body shot. And Vittori's not letting him off the hook. To the body. This fight's awesome. Oh, no, this fight's incredible. I mean, as promised, a lot of people already had this one circled on the calendar before all the surrounding drama. Oh, oh a cross from Costa. Shot. Nice volume there, though, from Vittoria. Yeah. Not loading up, just putting out the numbers. <laughs> Halfway through round four. For all the questions about Cap Costa's gas tank as it goes still, into the later yeah, rounds, he is get, keeping get it. up with it. And even in the last round, in the third round, was able to secure a takedown. So, oh, another combination for Vittori. And you know, oh, 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 
Neither of these men have cut weight. You know, right, right. and that affects your gas tank. It also affects your ability to take a shot in a major way. Both of these guys never had to do that. They never had to drain the system. They didn't have to almost kill themselves in a sauna. And now we're seeing this kind of output, this kind of power, and this kind of war. Torres finding a home for that left cross several times in this round, snapping the head back of Costa. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's him fight on. Costa doesn't want to stop. But Jason recognized it. Oh, another left. Oh, man. But every time we think Polo Costa is in trouble when he's backed up against the fence, he just throws a flurry and gets right. his way out of there. This is the first time Costa has gone to a fourth round. Vittori several, time has, several times has gone the five round distance. Vittori's getting comfortable though and the hands are getting lower. He does need to lift those hands up because if one of those high kicks comes up, yeah. gets him flush on the jaw, that could be a real problem for him. And there's a takedown. It would loom large with 40 seconds to go in the round. Costa playing some nice defense here. Keep in mind, there was a point taken from Paulo Costa early in this fight. And perhaps he didn't think it would come into play because Costa's known for, if he's gonna get it done, he's gonna do it by finish, but we're just 25 seconds away from the fifth and final round now. Oh, and he kicked for Costa again. This body kick return from Vittori. Yeah, there it is. is Four here? rounds one pop. in the books. Final round, oh. right back to business, and a big right from Costa. Oh my goodness. I mean, you've got to think that Costa is aware that he probably needs a knockout in this round. And he's capable of getting one as well. Look at the power he throws with. The volume, the total strikes, the significant strikes, all in favor of Marvin Vittori, each with a takedown. They have each landed some power shots. My goodness. And just hung right in the pocket with one another for now almost five rounds. Let's do two more rounds just to be safe. <laughs> yeah, right. The point deduction came in round two. Oh! He kicked from Costa that had a oh, soundtrack. Man. Yeah, I mean, that sounds like you're hitting the tie parts when you get yeah. that snap. Generally, you don't get that on the body. Oh, solid job. And again, oh, jeez. Oh, beautiful body shot. Costa oh, that's to feel it. it here. See, Marvin's got a head made out of granite, but the body can only take so oh. much. That's a smart move yeah. by, by Costa. Costa's punishing the body with those knees. I mean, with those kicks. Takedown attempt briefly for Vittori. I mean, what a fight this is. It, how can you not appreciate what these guys are doing? I this mean, is incredible. Smart fireworks. Vittori here to close this distance. Clinch him up for a little bit. Reset yourself. This would be big if Vittori can secure a takedown. But Costa's been hard to take down throughout the course of this fight. Even if Vittori doesn't get it to the ground, though, pretty valuable time here yeah. along the fence where he's not eating body kicks. Costa 8-1 to in body strikes just in the opening two minutes of this final round. Now they separate. I will say this, though, as, as tough as both men are, the human body can only take so much. You know what I mean? Before yeah. it gives in. Before the brain shuts off and says, good night. So this is an incredible fight. I'd like to see a little bit more defense from both men. And Costa, he's pulling on the pressure oh. and he's whipping to the body. I'm so impressed with Costa's ability to, to, to push through what looked like fatigue early right. in the fight, but still throwing absolute murderous kicks. Big shots to the body, 
and obviously Vittori, whose chin is unbelievable. Yeah, the toughness that this guy has. Not just that, the body shots he's taken. There were some solid body shots there. He did not look phased one little bit. Of course he was, but he kept that internal. He never showed. He had the poker face. And that's what you need at this level of fighting. Because as soon as you let on that you're hurt, your opponent's going to jump all over you. Oh, another kick to the body. There's no secret to the game plan in this final phase of the fight for Paulo Costa. Vittori answers. He slowed down a bit though here. Marvin's definitely slowed. I gotta think the body work is partly to blame for that. Just the size of Costa tonight. Oh, oh. He's massive. Absolutely massive. Vittori needs to attack. He cannot yeah. stand there and let Costa lead the dance. He's got to press forward. He's got to try to clinch him up, push him up against the fence. He has to make Costa react. Final minute of the fight. A lot of sweaty palms for Marvin Vittori fans. I tell you what, the noise in here oh. is unbelievable. Could you imagine this? You know, 20,000 people. Wow. 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 There he goes. That's what Marvin's got to do. He's got to yeah. try to press Polo Costa back a little bit here. He tripped that one. I think if it goes 25 seconds, Vittori wins. Clinch for Marvin Vittori. Very smart because, as I say, he looks exhausted. And Costa needs a knockout. He knows that, and he's throwing, looking for the knockout with every shot. Final seconds. I'll be interested to see the response from each of these two guys after five hard rounds inside the octagon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have it, 48. 46 for your winner by unanimous decision, the Italian dream, Marvin Vittori! I'm here with the winner, Marvin Vittori. Marvin, my word, where do I start? You won the respect of the entire martial arts community this week.